Why hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the light gun effect, and I'm just saying the rocks um, effect is going to be the next tutorial. I said I was going to do it today, but I don't have enough time because it takes a bit longer than this effect. So here it is, it's just this light purpley gun with the little CC light rays and everything, and I'll show you guys how to do it really quickly. So just hop into After Effects, and I'm just going to get a clip. So I just have this folder called a shitload of clips that I've just um, got clips from, oh wait, I want a, a feed. I just have a bunch of clips from random stuff. Okay, so I want an intervention because intervention is cooler than the Barrett. Okay, there we go. So we're good. And I'll go to project and here is my clip and it's 59.4 frames, which is what is um, the best or whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on half resolution. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where I want the effect to start. So how about here? Okay, what I'm gonna do is duplicate the layer and trim it up because I can't control shift D with Fantasia. I tried fixing it, but it doesn't work. And I'm just gonna add on a Twix store. Twix store. Okay. And then put the frame rate to 59.940. And versus smart blend and image prep contrast such as enhance. Go back a frame. Keep from at 100, go back a frame, like go to the right, and then you put this to like 10. Okay, so now you see we have this, and then I'm gonna go to like about here, and what, right here, when it, before it gets glitchy. Uh, actually, I'll go a bit back, because you see it gets warpy, and it's gross. Okay, that's good enough, and now I'm just gonna um, trim that up there, because that's when I want it to end, and you guys know how to fix stuff like that yourselves. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, trim come to work area. So now all I have is this Twixter clip thing. What I'm gonna do is first of all make a new adjustment layer and call this gun effect. Okay, now first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask the gun. And what's so good about this effect is you can mask the gun literally like this. That's why I really love this effect. Like, the mask can look like a baby's fart, and it can still look cool. So we're gonna go over 10 frames, and you know, just like adjust it ever so slightly, just to make the image, to make like the actual shape of the gun, and it doesn't have to be perfect, that's why it's so awesome. And, you know, just adjust it. You can have some curves, like um, some curved um, max points in there if you want. Uh, just keep adjusting it and I think I'll do one more and then I'll be good for now okay that's a little gross never mind there we go there we go there we go there we go okay so that's good enough for now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna simply type in CC light rays drag it on the gun and then I'm gonna bring this to like over here. Okay, so now it sees it affects the gun a bit. I'm gonna bring the intensity up a bit and the radius up a bit. Okay, so I think I had 200 for the intensity actually. And the radius, I'll put 200 as well, just to match it up. Okay, so now you can already see the light rays a bit. What I'm gonna do is keyframe it. I'll go here, I'll keyframe it. And then what you would do is go to the very end when your mask is done, but since I'm not going to the end, I'll just go here and I'll drag it up. Okay? So now you see we've got this big ugly blob. Okay, now what we're gonna do is type in CC light oopsies. Light burst. Okay. And put it on and put the ray length to twenty five. Okay? I think we could leave that for now. Now what we're gonna do is the most important part, go to blend mode and change it from normal to addition or add. Okay, now hit F for feather, and we're gonna feather this to 100 pixels. And you can do more, I'm actually gonna put this to like 150, cause you know, the more the merrier. Okay, so that's good. Now, type in tritone. And this is what makes it colorful and shit. Okay, so I'm gonna, get a green and you want to drag it over here okay so now you can see that's really oh yeah I remember I blend with original I put it to 30% okay and I can change this green ever so slightly 
Like you want the green to be like pretty pretty close to the end. And as you can see we have this green effect and obviously my settings were a bit different. Actually probably quite a lot different. Let's just look at this quickly. Okay yeah, so my settings were quite a lot different. I think I have to feather it a bit more. Let's just turn off CC light burst for a second. Maybe it just doesn't look good with green. You never know. I'm going to put put it back to purple. Okay, yeah. It's already looking a bit better. Um, okay, well, anyways, you guys get the concept of this. It's pretty simple. And it's basically just a glowing gun. And maybe, I think I think I actually messed up the light rays um, values and everything. So maybe bring the intensity down a bit. Yeah, that is already looking better. And radius up a bit more. And then maybe bring this over so it's further away or something. Yeah, that looks a lot better now. Okay, so just play with the value, guys. And um, this could look really sick in some chill edits. And it could also look good in over edits, of course. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty simple effect. I'm going to be working on a montage for the next three weeks or something for my buddy Hawk S Shot. So I will not be making any edits anytime soon. So uh, yeah, and one last thing, a lot of people have been asking for my Skype lately, and I just want to say I'm probably gonna make a, um, a Skype that you guys can add add me on, like um, a sub Skype or whatever. But I don't know if I should do that just yet. But you know, leave your thoughts about that in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for 1500, and I'm gonna be celebrating with a setup video once renovations on my house are finished so um yeah that's about it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later goodbye and have a nice day